Alright everyone, welcome back to MTG Arena here. So, this is my first video for the um, the new season of the War of the Spark release actually. Um, it's been out for a couple of weeks, um, pre-release and the week before pre-release I think. They released it, or just a little bit before that. But anyways, so, I've saved up a bit of gold, I've punched in all my codes. I'm just going to go to the store and buy some more packs. Okay, so packs. Well, they've updated a lot of things, lots of card styles as well. For all of that, I think you've seen them some of the card styles before, though. Just going to buy all of this stuff here, crack them open, and let's get some cards bundling up. Um, I will also do some. Uh, I've got a code for the traditional entry draft so again obviously um, if you had gone to the pre-release if well I would have made the video and you know told all you about it but if you had gone to a pre-release make sure you find that uh, go through all your tokens hopefully you didn't throw them all away there's a code on the back of one of them and you will get a draft entry code um, it is unique to every um, every code and it's a one per account so if we can get through all that. Anyways, so let's not open 10 at a time. Let's just open it um, one at a time just so we can see all the cards in this set. Let's see here. So we've got here Sunblade Angel, Bond of Revival. Ooh, Deliver Unto Evil Eye. I want, to, I want this card to be good. I'm not sure if drawing two from your graveyard is a good card. Um, it is really on rate with plenty of other cards though. Generally there aren't many cards that you can, you can drop, pay two to get one card back. But like Turn of Witness is pay three to get two cards or get one card back. So I think that's fair but it comes with the, a 2-1 body as well. Seventh Sprint that's what we'll need for some other decks. This is who shakes the world that's really good. Um, that's something we'll definitely have to play with. That turning creatures and lands into creatures permanently is a powerful effect. Let us fight! Sark and the Masterless turning all planeswalkers into 4 4 dragons. Um, awesome. Awesome. Okay. Nignor's Triumph, I think, is good and constructed. Stop sure how it's crazy. Domri and Bolus. Okay. And we got a second planeswalker in this set pack as well. Okay, Gideon's Triumph, also a good card. Mythic Wild card. Okay. A board grazer, if we want to play our Nexus deck, that's something we have to do. I can't wait to use that step plating in um, uh, and with the hex proof because that is such a powerful effect. Two Sarkins the Masterless. I think we can definitely um, work with that. Cura. Khan the Great Traitor. Okay. I really want to make that Pyhelion deck. If uh, y'all have been following this, Ugin. And wise. Okay. My advice. That's a different sound for Ugin. I'm very curious. Storev. No planeswalker in this pack. <laughs> so, um, War of the Spark is advertised for, um, in paper at least, that there's going to be a planeswalker in every pack, whether it's uncommon, rare, or mythic rare. This pack did not have a single planeswalker in it. Tyrant Scorn, a great card for removal. Dreadhorde Butcher, also something really great. Now I, I want to make the um, the Rakdos, um, a Rakdos zombie list. I think I'm going to try to play that. It's a mono black, splashing the red, just for the uh, Dreadhorde Butcher and whatever red cards we can use. Ooh, God, turn up with Petra. That's going to be great. I think that's really under, under undervalued. Um, D Spark, obviously great. Gone into a bot two, amazing. Commands the end game, great card as well. It's basically when you play it again in the Amon Ket and the Kaladesh sort of. Um, you always just did Glimmer of Genius, like Trench Good Hill into Glimmer of Genius. What I'm saying, Casualties of War, not that. It's great in Commander. There's not a Commander format in here. I doubt there'll be lots of uh, different types of permanents on the battlefield. You can get one or two, maybe three at most. 
single combat. I'm not sure how that will play out. It's really awkward with the. Um, uh, you can't cast any creatures or planeswalkers until that, until your second turn after that. Another Jeffrey Butcher, great. Don't have to spend as many rare cards on it. Interplane of Interplane of Beacon. I've lost so much already. Vivian is a great card, actually. Uh, being able to flash in your creatures is pretty important. Um, Niv Mizzet Reborn. Okay, I love this art. This is great. Uh, we haven't any packs left, so let's get on to the draft here. Um, all play modes, play and not that uh, a sealed War of the Spark. This is a traditional draft entry for War of the Spark. This is not it. Um, um, play traditional okay here we go okay that's really nice it's a just traditional so normally it i think the the events for the opening the week or weeks are best of one so they haven't been traditional and that's just a normal draft so i think it's i think it's nice that they have this so we're getting right into this limited <laughs> okay ticket, ticket entry so oh okay we have to take this for the wizards deck there's no way we're not taking this um if we happen to be able to play red in this fine but i'm taking this right off the bat um cruise okay this is limited drafting ash up the dream render is quite powerful um leyline prowler is also quite powerful i'm not sure which route to go um i do think greenback is one of the best color combinations i seem to be drawn toward it every single time or at least that was my luck for the past uh, all of my pre-releases or sealed formats um but we can't miss our chance to get ash Shark, the dream render here um cruel sullivan's another card that we can get i do have 10 uncommon slots yo bro what thing is do i play to win well, either of these can play to win actually so there's a plenty of blue cards uh, I would see myself picking up Ashok Skulker and the Erratic Visionary um, Sky Thieves of Strix is not too bad do I want do I care about splashing this finale I promise that's the uh, but Ashok Dream Render is something they have to deal with and it's quite oh it I've played against it it's just terrible but if we get Leyline Prowler, we have access to Spare Spinner, Snare Spinner, and the Bloom Hulk. Um, Bane Hound is not that great of a card. I mean, it's 1 1 for 1 with Haste and Lifeling, but sure, what's this going to do later on? You've got to buff it up. But I'll take Ash Shark Dream Render. Welcome to my world. So, we're in the blue black colors. We can just maybe just play a blue or play black. But it seems black cards on. Well, this is actually a great black card right here. Um, but also I do want to pick up more uncommons than not um, Cure I think is going to be great it, it's already limited since we do have plenty of stuff that's 4 power greater so maybe we'll be leaning towards a blue green sort of because um, this is powerful here band together great removal card um, I, I couldn't imagine not picking this up um, but this is also strong Mass is a really great mechanic and limited as well, but let's keep ourselves open. Let's just go cure <laughs> dream the behemoth beckoner. So I think it does not look like I'm going to want to go red and wait for the finale I promise. Don't think there's actually many good targets for it anyway, so I'm just grabbing that card just for value. Eternal Task Massacre is great. I think it does the um, uh, be on attack and pay three to return any creature card to your hand is amazing and it's not recurrable. Return of Nature is a glorified naturalized it adds an exile target card from graveyard. Not sure how relevant that extra text extra mode is. So, um, Crush Descent may be what I pick up here. Also, Healy's Silver Wing. Um, Uh, geez, or I just get I can just get Gateway Plaza and be open. 
I think I'll do that. Um, but eternal taskmaster is pretty good. So perhaps I can go cure for blue and then pick up black and blue cards. But I'm not sure there are many. I don't remember there are many good cards that are um, high powered in that sense for the um, for cure to be very effective. But if I'm playing Ashok, I do want to be sort of um, recurring Ashok. So I think I do want to go black. So let's go ahead and take this for now. I'm sure that gateway plot. <laughs> we have plenty of gateway plazas. Totally Invasion is not a bad card. Um, Ugin's Conjurance is fine. Uh, Rescue's Finish is also fine. I do think I want to. Okay. Orleans Wolf is great actually. Um, it's not too late. We can go green, black. I think that is alright. So let's. I, I think we'll do that. So let's just take Orleans Wolf. Or let's go with Crocodile. Oh, invade the city. Oh, is, is it too late to go into the blue red? This is a great card. Heartwarming Redemption in the white red. Okay. Um, I think this is a solid card. 5 drop, 5 3 with hex proof. Um, I think we'll keep going with this. Okay, good. Um, I'm fine with this. I could get that 2-2 two, two, Death Touch. It's not too bad. Oh, this is a great finish here. So I am happy to pick this up. And Soren's Thirst. I think we'll just have to take this. But it looks like our uh, black and green are drying up. That's a great card. Uh, don't like how our thing's turning out. Um, we can splash the blue. So I think I'll take this for a cyborg card. Might as well. Well, okay, we do want some more creatures, so we do this. I don't really care too much about Davio Subterfuge. And this could be a good cyborg trick. Sure. Oh, Feather the Redeemed. So obviously, I'm picking this up for value. Um, other cards in here. Vivian's Grizzly is great. And Grass Rampage. Solid card. Parhelion. <laughs> um, we could just skip this. I don't want to spend a rare slot on this, so I'll pick this up. Um, all in. Okay, so solid hand, green Pickle. card right there. You have Mobu, solid right there. So it looks like we are going green black. Um, we did not pick up the. That one for one for one for life. Okay, I think we'll just have to pick up the Living on Triumph here. I'll probably pick up the Last Attempt Reaver when it comes around. Um, Giant Growth is actually a great card to do to pick up. Uh, it's these two are solid um, combat tricks. Um, I think I'll just take the finisher though, uh, just to curve out a bit. Let's uh, sort of look at look uh, look at the view like this. So we can, these are all playable, these two are still playable cards. Um, I think I want the Primordial Worm. Oh wait, no, 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 we got Aid the Fallen. So we're going to pick that up because we have three Planeswalkers we can get back. Oh, Sam Tyrant Smasher. I, uh, oh, but we have Band together in this one as well. I think I'll take this True one. True heretics will feel the bite of my blades. Vivian's Grizzly, great card right here. Um... Okay, so we've thought I saw. I thought I picked up a primordial worm. What did I pick over it? I think we'll take this as a second sort of finisher as well. Ooh, another. Oh. We're going creature heavy for this one. Um, I think we are a bit light on creatures. I think. And we've got one, two, three, four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Seven creatures. Let's pick up a bit more. I know we can recur the creatures with great uh, aid from the fallen. Centaur nurture is great. Tithe binder is great. Um, this synergizes really well, but we do have a high curve, so I do want small cards on four drop, and that actually fixes our mana as well. Uh, combat trick for us. 
not too bad and goes inside one museum tank again i'll take pick, pick this up for value for the rare slot because i don't want to spend another rare card on that laser tech plating that's good new horizons is great as well i think i'll take that um we don't need the color fixing do we i don't think so so maybe we won't need that but let's see is there anything that we can give um we don't really have a proliferate theme going on um so it doesn't really matter for that we do have mowu but i think picking up either a spark reaver or vivian's grizzly is fine um spark reaver is nice you can sacrifice you can pay three let's pay four but you don't have to sacrifice creatures this helps you build your board a lot easier but i do do think i want um, a couple of aid the fallens because Recurring Ashok Dream Render is oh so great. Oh, actually, we do want a bit of removal. This is a great form of removal here, and it's uncommon. So if you can find this, pick it up. You get to kill a two-two and make a two-two. So it's two for one basically on one card. Oh, Bond of Revival. Oh yes, great card. I think so. This is not that great. Oh, I don't really care too much about that. We do have one vampire opportunist. It's fine. Um, Godfrey's statue is actually backbreaking. If we can cast it, making the, all their spells cost two more to cast is insane. Um, I think we'll take this for one more bomb style effect. No, I think we'll be or like end game ending kind of effect. Um, so Vivian's Grizzly is great. A third one is fine. Another aid, the Fallen, is also fine. Oh, no. oh, one pack three two. Um, I think I'll take Jonah Goo though. Uh, that claw, the the mana isn't too much too important for us, but it does kind of get us to the Godfrey statue a bit sooner, or we can just use him as uh, you know buffing up all the creatures. Come on, Noble. Time to have your day. Okay, New Horizons is back, but I do want some more two drops. So, some s a small bit of a mass mechanic here that I want. Shriek Divers seems to be fine now. Um, I've got one, two, yeah, I've got plenty of three drops as well. Um, two different colors. Sometimes I want the same color, which is. Uh, Okay, so I think Shriek Dive it is Dread Malkin, so much better than the Bane Hounds. So I'll pick this up. Another Aid the Fallen. We are got paid off for this. So you got three Vivian's Grizzly, so not necessarily need to pick up the Spark Griever. Another Shriek Dive is fine, helps us finish the game. Um, uh, another one of that won't hurt. Uh, take that and that. Okay, so we got sort of a solid deck. Um, we picked up a lot of the things that uh, we. It would be nice not to have to pick up, but since we're low on everything. Okay. All right. So, let's. We got forty nine cards. Let's figure out what we can cut. I uh, generally, we are running on the higher side, but we have a bit of ramp with this and with Jing and Gu. Um, I do want to keep the aid the Fallen's in, that's an absolute. Soren's Thirst may not be that great, so this I'm going to put the steady aim in the sideboard. So, I'm not sure we'll get to use the Frasca's finisher ability very well. The Menace, however, is helping with that um behemoth um but not a lot of these cards um are powerful or greater which i wish we had i think we have to keep these in just to have um pure dream beckoner good in that sense we've got two flyers um I think this is better, so I can cut one of these, um, maybe even both of them. 
vampire opportunists. This can come, this can get some of the stuff back. This will also block flyers. So I think leaving one streak diver is having three flyers in here is fine. Bond revival is fine. This could be just costly to keep in. Blaze Dash is fine. I think um, the curve on here is on the two and three slot. So I think we need to drop a uh, sword and stir. So I think that's going to be not do too much. A lot of creatures have the uh, the three toughness. It's going to be very important to keep that around. Um, let's see. Let's see. What else can we cut? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 17 creatures. That seems fine. Um, the haste, not necessarily something we care about, but that haste lets us play around so many things. Um, the triumph maybe doesn't seem very good in here, um, since we have so many creatures anyways. Uh, we could definitely use that as our sideboard card. Um, God Pharaoh statue, I'm beginning to think, is not something we care about too much. Um, maybe bringing in as a sideboard card as well. So we want the flyers. The bond is fine, it's great. We play with big creatures, they die, we get to bring it back and attack with it in the same turn. Total Task Massacre is fine. I do kind of want that uh, semi mass theme. This may be the weakest card, so I think maybe it's safe to cut this, but having two bodies for two mana is actually really, really nice. Um, yeah, I think, although this is 3-2, this Raskus finisher may not be, may not cut it. Um, because Vivian's Grizzly is just great. Um, this is also just fine. We've got one, two, three. So right now we've only got three cards that trigger off of Kiora, the Behemoth Beckoner. So I think Kiora has to be cut because we don't have enough full power creatures. So that's that. Um, so three more cards. Um, one of it's going to be a Swamp. Hold on. Um, let me put that. Put that swamp back in. Um, okay, we've got the swamp. I hate this. Um, this doesn't tell us. So, okay, there we go. Lands, put in the swamp. Um, it, Maybe vi three Vivian's Grizzly is not that important to have. So I think it might be safe to cut one. We've got uh, every single card is a hit except for these 16 lands, uh, three spells, four spells actually. So Vivian's Grizzly will hit probably at least 60%, 60-70% of the time. Uh, this is just great though, like having the menace and um, being sacrificing the creature that's about to die anyways is very good. Maybe I'll cut one of the opportunists and play it like this. Um, yeah, I think so. Maybe all in is just a great, um, great way to finish the game as well. Creating, what, I think three, three, three green wolves across, uh, across three turns is great. It's something people need an answer to. Okay, so I think we're done with this. Um, and I will stop the video here. And then whoever, uh, I think the next video will be the, um, the actual games. So hopefully Ashok will be great in here. We do need the double black and the double green very, very intensely. So this is very important. Okay, all right. I'll see you guys in games. Bye for now.